Plush review. Oh, he's, he's looking the wrong way. Plush review. Hey guys, welcome to the new review table. I'm using this one because my actual review table is cluttered with all sorts of mess stuff. So we're using this DIY table. Am I going to tell you how to make it? No. Anyways, on to what you came here for. For plushie. And yes, orange light. This light sucks. Anyways, now to what you came here for. For plushie. So first we shall look at the tag. Of course, on this side, it's got the office from FNAF 1. It's got Funko, uh, www.funko.com. Funko plushies, this is official. Oh, that's very collectible plush. Or, N Plushie de Collection and Plushie de Collection. Over here we have Rivet Freddy, who is used on almost all of the tags, but has no merchandise. Yeah, I have to chat for him. Get, get, get back over here. Then we have all the good fine print. All that good stuff. Please remove packaging attachments for giving no give a toy to child. Um it did be ever like me. Ages zero and up. You could give your newborn baby this. Twenty twenty one's got coffin. I guess this was like a re release in twenty twenty one. Manufactured by Funko. Original Funko on Facebook, Original Funko on Twitter and at Original Funko on Instagram. Made in Vietnam. This man has seen the war. That's why he looks so traumatized. He has been in the war. He has seen everything. Shoot the table. Anyways, now let's get on to the actual plushie. As you can see, it's based off the design of the plushies from the original game. As you can see, here's my hand next to it to give you a sense of scale. I'm also 14 years old, so my hand isn't fully grown. So uh, I guess this... Isn't the biggest scale you could get? Uh, you know what? I don't know. It's a plushie. Who cares about the scale? And it's based off plushies for the original game. So it's got these adorable stubby little feet and arms. He's got, you know, different color on his chest. You know, have a, the, the weird part that animals always have on their, their underbelly. He's got this snazzy little bow tie. It isn't made out of the same fabric as him, and it is a printed on. It's an actual bow tie. But yeah, it's pretty snazzy. And now for his head. See, I already... Table, what do you stop breaking? And I shouldn't be surprised that it's breaking. It isn't an actual table. It's just screen lid on a big red box. What's inside the box? You'll never know. Anyways, as you can see here is where the mouth would be. We've got a, a muzzle with uh, some freckles and a big nose. Sadly, it doesn't honk. But we've got eyebrows. We can make him uh, sort of angry. And we can also, we can also make him sad. He's a sad Freddy. Sad Freddy. Now he's angry Freddy. Anyway, he's got his blue eyes just like in the game. Hat's a different material. It's a snazzy little top hat. And we've got his ears. Now the ear can move him around and yeah, that's about it. What, we were expecting a lot of cool stuff? It's a plushie, man. But I can tell you something cool. This means that, that we can now do... The, pl the FNAF Toyverse thing I told you guys about. Yeah, you remember that? From uh, my uh, first year anniversary video? Y'all remember that, right? I'm hoping, I'm hoping you did, because I, I don't think anyone other than me actually watched that video. Oh, wait, that was my awkward silence test. Anyways. Um, this means that we can start the plush first part of the Toyverse. It's going to be very cool. The first episode is coming out tomorrow, so get excited! And, uh, and for more of a new character, well, it basically took an already existing FNAF character and put a spin on it. A very fun spin. 
It makes him really cool. Who is this villain, you ask? Well, you're just going to have to wait to find out. Don't worry. It's, it's going to be revealed in the first episode, okay? Anyways, that's all for today's episode. Fairly short compared to the last video, maybe, which was like 23 minutes long. Yeah, and also, we're not going to be doing an episode of Sam the Creeper and the Quest for Original Characters this week. We'll be doing one next week. But you know what? I think I've talked it off. Goodbye.